In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can blend two textures together using a lerp. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new material, and let me just call this lerp. We'll open this up, and let's grab two textures of any sort. So I'm just going to hold down T and left click. And with this texture sample, I'm going to grab, uh, let's grab the brick cut stone. And I'm just going to hold down T again and left click. And I'm going to grab the moss texture. And to blend these together, we're going to use a, a node called Linear Interpolate. So if we just right click and we can either type in Lerp to grab that, or we can just hold down L, which is the hotkey for it, and left click. And on this node, we have an A input, a B input, and a alpha input. So it's pretty straightforward. We're going to throw in texture 1 into A, texture 2 into B, and the alpha controls how much these blend together. So if the alpha is 0, uh, 0 is equal to A, and 1 is equal to B. So if we've got 0 0.5, for example, they're equally going to be blending. So if I check this to base color, you'll see because the alpha is 0, it's showing this texture. If I put the value to 1, it's showing the moss texture. But if I set to 0 0.5, it's blending them equally. And it's blending them on top of each other. So what we can do, we can, we can do this a, a smarter way. We can actually use a, a mask to drive the alpha here. So if we right click and Oh, just to hold down T even and just left click. We can grab a Perlin noise texture which comes with Unreal. And if we just drag the red output channel and connect it up to the alpha, this will drive. Uh, let's just take a look at this texture and understand how it's doing this. Uh, we have the red, green, and blue and alpha channels here. And usually in textures, you can find masks within these individual channels. So with the red channel, we've got black and white. And where white is, that's going to be equal to the value of 1, which will be the B input. And where black is, it's going to be equal to the value of 0, which is the A input. So if we hit Apply and just come back to our world, and we can drag this material and drop it straight onto this cube. And we can use the same process for uh, things such as the metallic and roughness as well. So if I just select these two nodes and hit Control W to duplicate them, I could say I want uh, a value of 0 to be in A and a value of 1 to be in B. So the moss will be fully rough and the brick will be um, kind of a, a wet looking feel to it. Okay, and that's how we can use LERPs to uh, blend two textures together. I hope this tutorial helps, and thanks for checking it out.